During the 1890s George Frederick Watts became an important figure in the international symbolist movement. His themes tended towards the spiritual, and he considered himself a painter of ideas rather than subjects. This painting was one of a pair depicting scenes before and after the fall. The lilies seen in the foreground are a symbol of purity, while the birds in the trees above and in Eve's hand traditionally represent the soul or the immaterial. Adam and Eve according to the creation myth of the Abrahamic religions, were the first man and woman. They are central to the belief that humanity is in essence a single family, with everyone descended from a single pair of original ancestors. They also provide the basis for the doctrines of the fall of man and original sin that are important beliefs in Christianity, although not held in Judaism or Islam. The Garden of Eden is one of the most famous settings in the Bible. A peaceful garden oasis God created as a home for Adam and Eve, before they made a dumb mistake that got them evicted. Here's the untold truth of the Garden of Eden. The main appearance of the Garden of Eden in the canonical Bible is of course in the book of Genesis, during the second account of creation that begins in chapter 2. Verse 8 says, and the Lord God planted a garden in Eden, in the east, and there he put the man whom he had formed. If you know of the Garden of Eden at all, you probably know the Genesis narrative. Eden was the place where God made a home for the first humans, filled with all sorts of plants and animals, including the famous tree of the knowledge of good and evil, which Adam and Eve were specifically instructed not to eat from. This is the tree of knowledge, from its branches you shall not eat. Are you saying that like a, I suggest you don't, or like a definitely don't? People being people, of course, they went ahead and did it anyway. God kicked them out of the garden, leaving behind angels to keep the now sinful humans from having access to the tree of life. Adam and Eve subsequently invented the idea of working for a living and raised children who invented the concept of murder. Of course, humans didn't just come up with this terrible idea themselves. No, it was the serpent who convinced Eve to go give that apple a whirl. She not only ate the fruit, of course, but also shared it with Adam, bringing about the fall of man and leading to their expulsion from the garden. According to the Bible, George Frederick Watts was one of the most original and exciting artists of the 19th century. He was known in his own time by his contemporaries as England's Michelangelo, and the name suggests an artist of great depth and range and ambition, but it's also because he was a master of four distinct artistic mediums. As a draftsman, a painter, a muralist and a sculptor, and that's something that we've brought together in this gallery.